In this lesson, you'll learn how to pronounce 30 in American English. This little word gives people big problems in English. It's nearly entirely composed of sounds that can be difficult for non-native English speakers. I'll walk you through all the difficult sounds, including the TH, the ER sound, the flap T, and how to correctly stress 30 so it doesn't sound like 13. So let's start by looking at the pronunciation of the TH. In order to pronounce this sound, you should stick out your tongue tip, but just a little bit, like this. You see how small the tip is? It's not very much tongue that you see. You just see a tiny bit. Take a look. Th. Th. Be careful not to stick it out too much. That's a common error I see. I know that this is an unusual and uncomfortable sound for people from many different languages. It will probably take you quite a bit of practice before you feel comfortable with the movement of putting your tongue between your front teeth. Now let's try it again. Did you know that there are actually two different TH sounds in English? One is voiceless, meaning that you produce it with only air coming through your mouth, like this. The other is voiced, so you use the same mouth position, but you turn on your vocal cords here as the air is passing through your mouth. It sounds like this. The TH in 30 is voiceless, so you do not need to use your vocal cords. You should feel no vibration here. Just hear air passing through your mouth. Try it again. If you'd like more practice with the TH sounds, check out my video on how to pronounce the TH. The next tricky sound is the ER sound. In order to pronounce the ER sound, your tongue floats in the middle of your mouth, like this. ER. ER. It cannot touch anything. Pull it back and hold the muscle tight. ER. Also notice how I use my lips. ER. ER. Er, er. This er sound is often spelled with an IR, but it does have other common spellings as well. For more spelling information and pronunciation practice for this sound, take a look at my er video. Now let's put the first two sounds together now. Thur, thur. Now for the T sound. This T actually sounds like an English D. It's what we call a flap in English. Your tongue quickly touches the hard bony ridge just behind your upper front teeth. There is no puff of air with this T like you would hear in words like today or take. If you'd like more information on the flap T, I have a video on that as well. But just remember, this T sounds like a D. So if we put the first three sounds together, we get the word third. That's a bonus word for you in this video. Now you can say third. Third. For example, my apartment is on the third floor. Third. And the final Y in 30 is pronounced E, like in happy. That's the easy part, right? So now you can say the whole word. 30. 30. There is one more thing to note, the word stress. 30 has primary stress on the first syllable. 30. This is different from the word 13, where we often stress the last part, teen. 13. 
Here are a couple of examples. I had 30 students in class today. My lunch cost $13. Did you hear the difference between the 30, 30, and the 13, 13? 30, 13. Two things to note. So your numbers ending in zero, like 20, 30, 40, 50, they are going to stress the first part. 30, 40, 50. The teen numbers stress the teen part. 13, 14, 15. Also notice the pronunciation of the T in both of the words. You hear a softer flap T in 30. This T sounds like a D, remember? 30. And you hear the hard T in the teen numbers. 13, 14. Don't forget that I'm talking about American English. Other varieties of English will pronounce that T differently. Which numbers do you have most difficulty pronouncing in English? Let me know in the comments. Did you like this video? If so, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Thanks for watching.